Hey guys, Husey here. Uh, thought of making a little video on today's price action and how you could have traded based on the morning charts and levels. Okay, so let's open Discord and let us review the charts in the morning, right? What they were saying. So NASDAQ, right? This is the futures chart. So it said that the structure remains uh under pressure below 12180 right so we were right around 12080 when i posted this chart so that means it could still rally towards 12180 uh sorry 12180 is this one i don't know why i have <laughs> the marker the mark here but but the, the, the idea was that as long as we are below 180 you should be looking to uh short or you know look for some bearish setups right so uh let's go see where nq went right nq okay remove all right so i'm gonna open like a five minute chart right okay so we're trading around somewhere around here in the morning right around 12 70 something like that and then 12 went 80 right so if there are multiple ways you can play this ch chart if you are playing this chart you can you can attempt to play the long side towards 12 180 uh, or you can wait for the price to go all the way there and then look for a short once the price gets rejected right so uh you can see and i'm just kind of going to 15 minute view just so that we can view the chart properly so we got rejected right there 12 190 right that was the high of the day and then since uh, dropped almost like uh, you know 140 even 50 points from there so that was a good drop and by the way once this was doing it qqq was also uh playing similarly right so if i go and open the discord right there let's take a look at qqq so not out of bearish structure unless we see a price get above 295 right so if it goes above 294.5 295 we can see a move towards the next uh resistance level right so there are multiple ways you can play this thing if you want to play the calls you can play the calls once the price is above 290.4 and towards 296 right start trimming towards there because that's the resistance that's the next level at least book some profits there and then uh see if the price gets rejected there at 296 or above then you can uh, look to play short there as well right so that's the that's the play now let's see what happened qqq once it opened it rallied above 294.5 let me go into let's say uh maybe a five minute view right so we opened up uh i will take out the there you go all right so we opened up right above 294.5 we sold off a little bit held that support 294.5 and rallied all the way from there towards 296.5 right so if you don't want to play that move on the upside which you should have because if it's not falling down it's holding that support level and this five minute bar tells you that right there is no follow through to the downside below that level we got multiple bars here that are closing above that level that means it has some strength so uh it went towards 296.1 right and now once it closed above 296.1 we did not see any upside follow through right and we just started seeing some bearish price action and then it fell back below 294.5 uh, and just kind of you know went sideways for the most of the day did not really do much but the thought process was it's bullish above 294.5 towards 296 and then you know we can see if it wants to go further up or not if it gets rejected then the idea was to look for shorts over there okay uh let's take a look at apple bouncy in pre-market as it's attempting to get above 147.2 right so intraday bullish above that but then if you look at the chart i was i had mentioned that if it's it rallies above 147.2 towards uh, 149 or between 148.3 and 149 that's the area to uh look for a short right you could play a short there so let's go take a look at apple okay it opened up above 147.2 so that means it was bullish and it 
kept on rallying uh, all the way till 149.1. So if you did not catch this move to the upside, start looking to play a rejection here, right? This is your five minute bar right here, right? Could it not close? It tried to rally again after the 10 minutes, right? The next five minute bar, uh, it did not even close as well. So it closed with a top wick and it just kind of, so that was your tell that it's, it's it's getting rejected so take the short there you know get into puts with a stop loss just above the high of the day or if you want to use this trend line as your stop loss right so so that was the idea right that the the chart is weak as long as we are below the downtrend line so any move towards the downtrend line should oh you know it, it offers a good risk to reward from the short perspective because if you take a short right here and if it starts going above that right that means you can get out with a quick stop loss versus you know it, uh, where it wants to it takes a quick uh, big drop towards the downside and you're buying puts below 148 that's just a little bit too late in my opinion right so that's exactly what the stock did it really rallied up all the way till 149 and then it just dropped all the way down back towards 147.6, right? The, the, the day's range was not that much, but at least the thought process was right to take a short on the strength towards that level, okay? Uh, Netflix, so bouncy from the uptrend line, right? Uh, actually, the day for Netflix was just to trim the shares, right? Because it wasn't really going anywhere so the move was already played right the bounce from the up uh, down uptrend line right so that was the that was the move right so right here you get long right here first bounce you're out right or at least trim right that's the idea so now we'll see if it wants to go back above 332 that's the level it kind of remains uh, you know under pressure below that level if it can get above 331.4 332 it's a good sign or if it rolls over back under 318 320 it's it's on the weaker side right okay uh nvidia give a pullback to 330 right i mentioned that on friday or thursday i remember uh that was a good level pullback level it was still in a bull flag sort of a zone right so it was trying to get above this bull flag so let's see what happened to nvidia uh, as it opened let's get take a look at maybe a five minute view okay let me bring the levels so there you go so it opened actually above the bull flag so that was not a uh, you know a good place to get into calls because you know you don't want to chase the stock and it never really actually closed above 237.8 uh resistance or, or key level right so it meant it, that shows you that it was weak so then what you do is you look for a pullback and the pullback is the next level down and i have not updated these levels for tomorrow so so this tells you that you could have gone long right here for a quick bounce it held that level again on the retest and give a nice bounce towards that upper level of 237.8 where it was rejected uh, uh in the morning right so good intraday price action but still range bound right so there's nothing you can do about it but but ent entering at key level gives you good risk to reward right uh tesla strong in pre-market staying above 197 keeps the bulls active getting above 200 is strength uh need to take out 203.7 to 204 right this area to uh, see them uh, move towards 206 or even higher, right? So it was bullish already in the pre-market. It, you know, it was already at gap fill level. So that means the next level to watch or, uh, you know, or, or to get involved on the call side was a break above 204, right? So Tesla, and you don't have to do the first move up. You can always look to see if it gives you a pullback, which it did, right? Look at this. Move above 203, 2047. So if you don't want to, kind of chase this rally which is which is fine look for a pullback right and it gave you a nice pullback right towards 203.7 204 so it kind of you know went sideways so get get you know buy calls there or buy shares with the stop loss of maybe 203.7 that's a tight one or even two or two or two right that's the gap fill that's the level below this one uh and it went all the way nicely up towards 209.7 uh, uh, key level or 210 if you want to just run it off and now look at this it went back down and it held 206.5 it bounced there so so these are not levels for tomorrow but these are just there from 
this morning. So I will update them later tonight or early morning tomorrow. But just wanted to talk about these, uh, how you could have traded these names, right, based on the morning notes. Uh, so yeah, look for those kind of uh, price action moves and see if uh, uh, if you if you want to develop your confidence, maybe paper trade it for a week and see how you can improvise based on the notes, what you can do, how you can manage the trade by maybe uh, entering half a position or one third of a position. And once it starts going in your favor, you add more uh, or you add more maybe towards the pullback, uh, something like that. Right. So so pay attention to the morning notes. Look for pullbacks. Uh, look for uh, rejections, things like that. So, uh, but always keep the bigger structure in mind so that you can see what's going on in the higher time frame, right? So, for example, Tesla. Now, higher time frame, it's above this downtrend line, right? It, it, it we saw a little bit of nice follow through above the downtrend line, so that's nice. Now we need to get above 209.7. If you remember, that was a level it got rejected from, right? Right here. So now, if it gets above that. Definitely, we can see a move towards 215 or 218, right? Uh, but if it gets rejected from here and gets below 206, you know, then definitely we can play towards the lower key levels. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think you just have to kind of come up with a plan, focus on few names and trade accordingly. Okay, hope you guys like this little video. And uh, for any more questions, we can talk later. Good night.